in the West Indies. I was born and raised on St. Croix, was where I spent most of my days. I was sent to New York when I was only 13. I had the most talent these men had ever seen. I had no connection to money when I met my homie G. George Washington, that is, he saw potential in me. I married Elizabeth and started gaining power, gaining more and more respect. This was Alexander's hour. When I was elected to Congress, everyone knew that I was someone to watch. How about you? Tommy J in the house, born 1743. Inherited two farms when I was just 14. Graduated from the college, William Young and Mary, where I learned about enlightenment and the problems of society. John Locke had it right about protecting the rights of men and abolishing the government if it abuses them. Served for Virginia in 1769, urging the farmers to add on the Bill of Rights. Soon enough, I was Washington's Secretary of State. You're just a poser. What makes you think you're so great? Humans are selfish and don't deserve our trust. Limiting the power of the mob is a must. A strong central government is the only solution. Or we'll be in anarchy like the French Revolution. The country should be ruled by rich, educated men. People like myself give the power to them. As for our economy, some changes should be made. By promoting business, manufacturing, and trade. The power that we give to the state should be weaker. And by the way, Thomas, you're a bad public speaker. People aren't evil, I have faith in them. They can make their own decisions, trust the good sense of men. The French Revolution was a glorious day. It's just like the revolution of the USA. Power to the wealthy, now that I can't condone. Give the power to the farmers, cause they're a backbone. Our future is in agriculture, not business or industry. By limiting their growth, we'll have a good, strong economy. Our government's strength should lie within the states. We must stop tearing me before it's too late. I might not make great speeches, but I write with much eloquence. Want proof? Read the Declaration of Independence. A tariff on imports is what we should impose to strengthen our infant industries at home. We need to save our values, so let's test the whiskey. Plus, we're deep in debt, so we need to be thrifty. Whiskey excise will cut down on consumption and pay off all our debt in my plan of assumption. Cause if we want America's respect and status to last, we need to pay off our debts and pay them off real fast. As for the Constitution, well, my interpretation's loose. Let's build a national bank and then put it to use. You're a has been. I'm famous still. I even got my face on the $10 bill. Those new industries might not even make it. As for the profit, only a few will take it. Don't tax the whiskey, that's the main source of profit. The farmers will be sure to rebel if you do it. Funding our debts would only benefit the wealthy and make the rest suffer, and you know that ain't healthy. A national bank? Uh uh, no way. We'll end up corrupt just like the Bank of the UK. Nowhere in the Constitution is that freedom stated. Necessary and proper? Well, that could be debated. A has been? Psh, you don't know who you're talking about. Sit down, little boy. Thomas Jefferson out.